It's possible that some of you in this room have chosen to believe lies of the enemy about who you are, and those words that have been written on our souls have changed our personalities and our self-image because of those lies. Last week, or two weeks ago, we talked about the lies and being honest with ourself. And a lot of us, a lot of times, choose to believe the other lies, and we tell those things to ourselves. But why would we give words spoken against us? Why would we give words that are not for us or not who we are? Why would we even give them a chance? And why would we give them more value than what God tells us we are? Why do we do it? Why do we tell ourselves, I'm ugly? Why do we tell ourselves, I'm too fat? Why do we tell ourselves, I'm not worth it? Why do we tell ourselves, I'm a mistake? Why do we tell ourselves I'm just a screw-up? Maybe you don't believe that you're precious. Maybe you don't believe that you're beautiful. Maybe you don't believe that you're worth anything. But I can tell you what, God does. He believes that you're worth it. Why not just for a moment, for a little bit of time, consider what if you let God and what he thinks about you be the voice that you listen to? We all know it. We all read it. We all know that this is what God tells us. We all know that God calls us his masterpiece. Then what are we doing? How would this change the way that you think about yourself? We have the opportunity to stand up for ourselves and say, enemy, no, these are lies. I'm not too fat. I'm not too this. I'm not too that. You know who I am? I am beloved, Satan. Grow up. I was bought with a price. I'm not a mistake. I'm not worthless. No, Satan, I'm loved. Jesus loves me. My church loves me. My leaders love me. I am worth it. No matter what people tell me, no matter if my parents told me I'm a mistake, no matter if I'm in foster care, no matter if I'm in an abused home, I am worth it. You are worth it. You are beautiful. You are known. You are priceless. And you are perfectly made. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. It doesn't matter your personality. It doesn't matter if you're really bubbly. It doesn't matter if you're really shy. Jesus loves you the same way. 